So recruits, I'll be showing you how to make Eggs Benedict with Nuja, poached eggs, smoked paprika hollandaise, and a roasted potato hash. Who's made an Eggs Benedict before? No. Has anyone eaten an Eggs Benedict? Classically, Eggs Benedict is a toasted English muffin, Canadian bacon, your poached egg, and sauce hollandaise. There is usually a side to your Eggs Benedict. And if you are on the lighter side, then yes, Eggs Benedict will just come with a petite salad, and then everyone is satiated, and you're fine, and you drink six or seven mimosas, and you're out the door, right? Right. Our Eggs Benedict today, we're going to use Nuja. It's a salami spread from Calabria. It's as if chorizo went on a world tour, but it's completely spreadable. And this is going to be the protein for our Eggs Benedict. Our potato side. Very straight away, we're gonna use a russet potato. I'm gonna use our good friend, the mandolin, so that I can get nice, even slices that I'm then gonna dice. Now, personal preference here. I like the skin on a potato. Absolutely delicious. It's good for you, as long as your potatoes are clean and wash. Onion. I'm gonna slice the onion. Red pepper. And I take out that pepper rib because it's a little bitter. And then I'm gonna slice it. I'm gonna use one clove of garlic. The garlic, I am going to mince. I'm gonna start my potato pot. Start that on high. I'm gonna grab a little canola oil, I'm waiting for that pan to heat, 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 heat up. I'm gonna prep my English muffin. The best part about an English muffin are all of the nooks and crannies inside. So I do like to pop one side open and then pull it apart. Because what happens is once the hollandaise and the egg drip it, everything gets into the nooks and crannies of it. I'm gonna prep that and put that right in the toaster. I'm gonna crack four eggs, just because I want the egg yolks for the hollandaise. Set and ready to go. Now, my pan is hot. I'm gonna add my potatoes. And touch more fat to my pan, spread everything out, get nice flat, and I can get color on all of my papas. <laughs> now, while this action is happening, come up and take a look at this water. This water is simmering. This water is not boiling. This is how I want your water when you start making your hollandaise. Now I want to build the rest of my hollandaise. So to this four egg yolks, I'm going to add a tablespoon of trusty lemon juice here and half a cup of clarified butter. If you ever melt butter at home and it separates, so all the milk solids will settle to the bottom and then that on the top, there's this raft of what looks like clear liquid that's clarified butter at the top. So now I'm going to melt this butter. I don't want boiling butter, because remember, I'm going to add it to my eggs, right? My potatoes are starting to color. They're going to get a little crispy, crispy. I'm going to add onions, and I'm going to add my peppers. I'm now going to add a little bit of salt and a little pepper. I'm going to stir it. Does it almost smell like breakfast? Right? My butter is melted. Now. This, you need to watch. This is not something I can walk away from at all because the eggs will cook if I don't agitate them. Once that egg starts frothing a little bit, you are at the point where you are adding clarified butter to your egg. Oh. And now I can leave it off the heat. I'm gonna start streaming in a little of my butter. It's gonna start thickening up a touch too much. I'm gonna take a little water. I'm going to grab my nuja. Beautiful, delicious, spreadable nuja. Let's just warm this up, toast it a little bit. Leave that there, ready to go. My pan is a touch dry. More oil, add my garlic. Check the consistency of my hollandaise. Adding a little salt to my hollandaise. I'm gonna add full quarter teaspoon of smoked paprika. This hash is RTG. My nuja is RTG, ready to go, ready to go. Now I'm going to, how do you use a toaster? I'm gonna toast my toast. <laughs> Eggs. So traditional way of poaching egg is adding acid to our water bath and then whisking and making a whirlpool and then adding our eggs to this bath. So a hack to not have to manipulate the egg in there and you're chasing it around, and you're gonna crack four eggs right into this vinegar. Now what's gonna happen, the vinegar is gonna set the egg white right in the bowl. Create a vortex in my water so that the eggs spin to make sure they separate. And what'll happen is as they spin, the egg white will encapsulate. It sounds crazy, right? Will encapsulate around that yolk, and that's how everything stays together. Oh. See how the eggs are encapsulated? Now they're poaching, I'm just gonna let them set. So now the most important thing with a poached egg is what? Runny yolk. You're looking at a minute to a minute and a half is like, is that perfect, perfect poach. You just want to be able to pull it out, look at it, see that white is set, and then they're done. So I have my English muffin. English muffin, English muffin. Check, check. Take a little bit of my protein, spread that. And as I put the nuja down, I can create like a little well, because what am I going to land in that well? Poached egg. egg. Slotted spoon, tap, tap, place, place. See the little tail I have here? Mm -hmm. 
aesthetically. I'm gonna cut that tail off. I can then just take a spoon, go right underneath. Beauties. My potatoes right on the side, and I'll finish it with my sauce. And I'm just gonna take a plating spoon and put this almost everywhere I can. Where's my mimosa? Where's the mimosa? <laughs> you have to get through the challenge, and then <laughs> perhaps there'll be a mimosa on the other side of the rainbow. <laughs>